I'm a brand guy of 20 years and all we ever do is help brands define what they stand for. But it's probably the most common mistake you come across again and again and again, either because they swap out CMOs every so often or they swap out ad agencies or whatever. But the bottom line is if a brand defines what it stands for and not in a sort of idealistic way, like we're aspirational, we're dynamic and we're creative, which means nothing to anyone. You know, if they really define what they stand for and then authentically engage in ways that are consistent with that, then that will resonate with a community of customers. And then when they do an initiative on that basis, it'll allow the community to sort of not call BS or not see it as greenwashing or cause washing or local washing and actually engage with it. So I think as with all things on the web right now and social media, it is a dialogue. But what is most important is the integrity of the commitment from the brand itself. Because without that, it doesn't matter what you can do. I just think the audience is so sophisticated and they're so sensitive and they're so distrustful. I mean, the Edelman, Edelman the largest PR firm in the world, has come out with their 2011 Trust Barometer Report. And trust in business to do the right thing in the US has fallen. Consumer trust has fallen eight points in the last year and is now only five points above Russia. So that's what the consumer base thinks. They don't trust us as far as they can throw us. In which case, we've got to be authentic about what we stand, you know, we've got to know what we stand for, be authentic with that engagement, launch initiatives on that basis, and then the community can drive that. But if you're, not, if you're disingenuous, you're dead in the water.